In this packet tracer, we are going to see switch security configuration. This is our VLAN table and this is our topology. So, objectives create a secure trunk, secure and use switch ports, implement port security, enable BHCP snooping, configure rapid PVST port fast and PPDU guard. Background you are enhancing security on two access switches in a partially configured network. You will implement the range of security measures that were covered in this module according to the requirements below. Note that routing has been configured on this network, so connectivity between hosts on different VLANs should function when completed. Instructions. Step 1. Create a secure trunk. Connect the gigabit 0-2 ports of the two access layer switches. Okay, so two switches. I'm going to use crossover cable. This is the correct cable. Okay, now configure ports gigabit 0 slash 1 and gigabit 0 slash 2 as static trunks on both switches. Okay. Trunk. Trunk. Okay, let's continue. Configure ports. Okay, disable dynamic trunking protocol negotiation on both sides of the link. Okay, so switch port, no negotiate, and switch port, no negotiate. Create VLAN 100 and give it the name native on both switches. Okay. VLAN 100 and the name is native same for the other switch native okay now configure all trunk ports on both switches to use VLAN 100 as the native VLAN. Okay. Native VLAN 100. Okay. We have a This one interface range switch port trunk native VLAN 100. Okay, we can see that port consistency is restored. Restored. Okay. Now, step two, secure a new switch ports. Shut down all a new switch ports on switch one. Okay, we are using Fast Ethernet 01, 02, 010. Zero slash 24 and gigabits one and two. So it's going to be easier for me to shut down all the ports and use no shutdown for the ports that, that I'm using. Can first issue the okay. See all the ports. You always should issue 
this this command because you can have loopback interfaces and you you cannot see them if you don't use this this command. Okay, ports one and two, ten, twenty four, and both gigabits. Okay. Shut down now. Interface range fastnet zero slash one zero slash two zero slash ten zero slash twenty four. No shut down. Okay. Now on switch one, create a VLAN 999 and name it black hole. The configured name must match the requirement exactly. Okay. VLAN 999 name black hole. Like this. Black hole. Okay. Move all and new switch ports. The black hole VLAN. I'll unuse switch ports to the black hole. Okay, so it's going to be interface range fastnet 0 slash 3 to fastnet 0 slash 9 3 to 9 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 999 and uh, pass Ethernet 0 slash 11 to the 0 slash 23 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 999 okay So implement port security, step three. Okay, activate port security on all the active access ports on switch one. Port security on all active access ports on switch one. So it's going to be interface range fastnet zero slash one, fastnet zero slash two, zero slash 10, And zero slash twenty four port security. Now configure the active ports to allow a maximum of four MAC address to be learned on the ports. Okay, switch port, port security, MAC address, okay, port security, maximum of four. Now, for ports 0 slash 1 on switch 1, statically configure the MAC address of the PC using port security. Okay, it's going to be this PC. Okay. Okay, this is our MAC address. Go again to the switch interface fastnet 0 slash 1 switch port port security MAC address and we put MAC address. Okay, now configure each active access port so that it will automatically add MAC address learned. On the port to the running configuration. Okay. 
Okay, let me select my range again. Roll my port, switch port, port security, MAC address, sticking. Okay. Now, configure. Okay, this is what we have done. Now, configure the port security violation mode to drop packets from MAC addresses that exceed the maximum, generate a syslog entry, but not disable ports. Okay, not disable ports. So it's going to be switch port, port security, violation, and it's restrict. It doesn't shut down, this mode shut down, this doesn't shut down and doesn't issue the, the syslog entry, so it's restrict. Okay. Now, step four, configure DHCP snooping. Configure the trunk ports on switch one as trusted ports. Okay, so IP DHCP snooping globally. Now, All the trunk ports, so it's going to be interface range gigabit 0 slash 1, gigabit 0 slash 2, IP, DHCP, snooping, trust. Now limit the untrusted ports on switch 1 to 5 DHCP packets per second. Untrusted ports. So our untrusted ports are going to be interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, fast Ethernet 0 slash 10, and fast Ethernet 0 slash 24. Going to do IP DHCP snooping limit of five packets now on switch to enable the HCP snooping globally and for VLANs 10 20 and 99 IP DHCP snooping, no IP DHCP snooping, villain 10, 20, and 99. Note the DHCP snooping configuration may not secure, score properly in packet tracer. Okay, no problem. Now, step 5. Configure port fast and BPDU guard. Enable port fast on all the access ports that are in use on switch one. All access ports that are in use on switch one. Okay, so. Interface range fastnet zero slash one zero slash two ten twenty-four spanning tree port fast okay now enable BPDU guard on all the access ports that are in use on switch one. Okay, so it's going to be spanning tree, PPDU, guard, enable. Okay, now, and last, configure switch two so that all access ports 
we'll use portfast by default. Okay. It's going to be spanning tree portfast default. And it's done. Well, I think for this packet tracer is everything. Thank you.